Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com So today I'm going to show you how to back up your current ROM right after you root it. Um, I suggest you to get the latest ROM manager and also install the latest Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, although the rooted uh, recovery comes with it, um, search for ROM and you'll get ROM manager. And make sure you have the latest version. Um, because the latest version updates you to the latest version of Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, so, flash Clockwork Mod Recovery and choose Galax Samsung T Mobile Galaxy S2, okay? That one. And then it'll flash it. It might ask you for uh, super user permissions, just allow. And once that's complete installing, um, we're gonna use. Oh, make sure you have external SD card with enough space, um, micro SD card. You can insert it into the back of the phone, um, take the thing out, because it'll back up, the clock, current Clockwork Mod Recovery will back up to your S, external micro SD card only, um, so you will need a micro SD card. So this is going to take a little bit, um, because my internet's a little bit slow right now. But I'll be right back when it flashes. Okay, it says uh, it was done. And now we're going to, uh, once you've got that done, we're going to just do current backup ROM. And I'm going to put uh, Timo GS2 um, stock rooted. All stock root. Oh. Just so I, I know which backup it is. Yep. As put stock right there. Alright, make a name for it so you know what it is and you can back up your current ROM and this will automatically go into Clockwork Mod Recovery and back up your ROM. Now try this for only T-Mobile Galaxy S2 please. Um, <clears throat> so, uh oh. So if you get an error like that, try doing it manually, back up and restore hit the power button back up and it'll do it something wrong with the script but it's okay you can do it manually and it's backing up uh, everything so it will back up and you can reboot and you should be all good to go so I'll be back when this backup is complete while this is backing up you can also get into clockwork mod recovery um, just running ROM manager and uh, reboot into recovery and just go to the backup and restore and back hit backup uh, you can do that also, or you can uh, make sure USB micro USB is not connected. Uh, hold down volume up and down. Uh, while holding that down, you can hold down power button for about three seconds and let go of the power button. Keep holding the volume up and volume down, and you'll get into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, so there's a bunch of ways to get into Clockwork Mod Recovery and make a backup, um, for, but for some reason the script didn't work, uh, which is fine. You can just do it manually like I'm showing you here it shouldn't matter um, it will now back up into a directory uh, with the timestamp of today October 24th 2011 um, so I'll, I'll, I can use uh, all the backups that are stored in the SD card the external SD card under a clockwork mod directory and then a backup directory so clockwork mod slash backup directory you can go in there with a titan uh, ES file manager enable root um, and enable read and write and change the folder name to uh, whatever you want it to be um, that's what I'll show you how to do next after this complete backs up and reboots hi all folks so it's almost done let me show you uh, what it looks like and that means it's complete uh, reboot system now hit the power button and it will reboot and I'll show you how to rename the folders and where the actual backups are stored and you can always get back into clockwork mod recovery to restore um, your ROM and this is great I know this, this there was a guy who actually installed a uh, original Galaxy S2 ROM and uh, bricked his phone but if you make a clockwork mod uh, backup then you can always you know go back into it and recover your T-Mobile ROM back and you should be all good to go um, so I'm gonna run um, ES File Manager. You can get this off the market. Ah, 
Okay, I don't have it. So I'll just walk you through since I'm here. And let's go look for ES File Manager. And this is an app is free. It's great. Oh, not the task manager. The file manager. And install it. Install. Ah. Accept and download. And you can always copy over the your Clockwork My Recovery. Um, you don't have to leave it on your SD card. Put it in your hard drive, uh, hard disk somewhere. And what I actually do is I use uh, Clockwork My Recovery backup feature to backup a couple different ROMs, and then I can try different. Uh, I can restore it to any ROM at any point, um, which gives me the power to switch between ROMs on the go. Even you know I never have to be connected to my computer. Um, that's a great way to try out several different ROMs, especially if you're going on a trip uh, international and you know maybe Bluetooth or something is broken on one of the ROMs. Um, then you can always try another ROM or even go back to the stock rooted ROM. Anyway, open this file manager and hit settings. And if you go down, um, you can allow root access, say yes, and it'll ask you for a super user request, say allow. And then um, mount file, file system. Make sure that's checked on. There we go. Now everything's writable. Um, your so this is the SD card, and if you go, that's the Clockwork Mod directory uh, I told you, and then go to download. No, no, that's not it. This is actually my internal storage. Um, so go to SD card and then external SD. That's your actual micro SD card. And in here, you'll find a Clockwork Mod directory. And here, you'll find the backup directory. And you should be able to find that, um, how do I make this? There we go. The folder name is 2011-1024. Um, that's, that's what I just made a backup. So I'm going to rename this. Name this folder to uh, stock. So that way I know this is stock. And then every time you make more backups, there will be more, fo more folders with uh, the timestamp. And then you can go back in and change the name of it. And also you can back up uh, the clockwork mod, th this, these directories. And if you, for some reason you unroot your phone and get a new phone, then you can uh, put it back into clockwork mod slash backup directory in your, in your micro SD card. And then restore your whole ROM that you had before. Um, this backs up your whole ROM, your apps, your settings, um, everything except for the contents of your SD card and internal storage. Anyway, that's how you back up your uh, current ROM and also you can just simply restore it. You don't have to do any wipe, just go into Clockwork My Recovery and restore and choose that folder name and you should be back on your uh, ROM, whatever you're using. Anyway, subscribe, we'll have more tips at galaxys2root.com. This was for the T-Mobile version. Um, so make sure you make a backup right after you root, just in case something goes wrong. Um, it's always a good idea.